<clears throat> so I want to show you today a little bit about setting up the new Pure IDX2 design. So these Pure IDX sites, we host them on our server. They use the next generation technology for real estate websites and they're really tightly integrated with IDX Broker. So we, uh, we built in a bunch of great features for them. Let's just dive in and I'll show you what you do. First, what you'll need to do is you go to idxaddons.com and it'll bring you to a login page like this. You're going to need this number. So in this case, it's 40146 from your IDX broker account. And then you need to click right here to copy your account API key. So if I just click there, it says it's copied to my uh, dashboard. Then I can uh, type it in right there or copy paste it right there. And now I'm logged in as this client. So all I need to do is come over here if I want to see my website. And this one's <clears throat> not activated yet. So I just click the activate button. And within just a few seconds, um, the site will be generated. And uh, it defaults to the Pure IDX1 design. So what I'm going to do, this is the link to see your website. So if I click that open, I can see that just instantly my site was made and it looks something like this. Okay. And it's Liz Hooten Real Estate. You can actually put in a domain here if you want, like LizSellsLagunaBeach.com or something like that. And we'll show you how to set that up when you get your site ready. But today we're going to actually switch over here. And let's see, my phone's ringing. We're going to switch over and use the Pure IDX2 design. So it gives us, this is kind of a new design. It has some more sections in it. So as soon as I click that and then I reload the page, it's now showing the, uh, the IDX2 design. And uh, I can just hop in here and start changing uh, this information in here. It has places for neighborhoods, it has places for agents, and we'll just hop in here and start working on it. So once we're ready to work, we just hit my site. It shows here that I'm on the Pure IDX site. And so I'm going to just change all this to Laguna Beach Homes here. We're doing Laguna Beach Real Estate. <clears throat> And, uh, you know, maybe I'll, you know, in a real example, I would go get a quick search script. So the where that is for this client is I open the IDX add-ons page and I come over here to the Omni uh, search generator. And this has got a code snippet right here. I can put buy and sell tabs on it if I want. And I'm going to grab that and pop it right here. Replace that script. You know, if I have a different um, analytics for Google Analytics, uh, you know, I can put that in whatever my my code is here. So um, then we come down here and, you know, obviously we change all this information. So maybe instead of Linda Sharp, we call it um, Linda Smith. And, uh, you know, you can change, I'm going to change that to be an eight. And her address is Laguna Beach, California. And she's on, We'll put her on Shore Drive, basically, 123 Shore Drive. And as I'm working through here, these changes are actually saved. You can see if I come back here to Restore Backup, I have already a couple backups of my site that I can go back to. They're automatically saved. All these changes are automatically saved, so I can go back. But to push them to the site, I have to push the Submit Changes uh, button. Once I push that, and I reload the page, you can see now here's Linda Smith, and I put Laguna Beach, and you know there's already a 
a typo there. Um, so, and I didn't change the website title, so let's change that. Laguna and Laguna. Okay, so now that I push those, you'll be able to see instantly that this right here, there you go, that switched to Laguna Beach, and it should reload this page, and there's that, that's corrected. Okay, so then I can just move through the page, and, uh, oops, I can move through this page and just start changing whatever I want. For example, I want my home page um, maybe to be this page. If I want to put my map search here, I can add another sub menu item. So I can call this, um, you know, maybe what I do is I do, I can call this home search. And I'll pull this out and we'll make this the map search down here. And on this, I'm just going to put that hashtag, and then we'll add another submenu here, which is, um, you know, we'll call it power search or beach home search. And then I'll put on some imaginary uh, link here. And we'll call it beach homes. This isn't really going to work, but basically that's all you do. You can come in here and switch all these out. So. Now on the top, we have the banner image. So let's put uh, your Laguna Beach, and we'll switch this to Laguna Beach. And here, if I want to put new pictures right here on this header, this is where I, where I on that slider, on that hero image, this is where I can do that. So um, you can see here that we now have the Laguna Beach condos. I've switched this to be this for rent. And then when I hit the cell, it's actually going to take me over to the home evaluation page. And uh, so that's that's ready to go. Um, if I were doing this in real life, I'd probably put in a little bit of CSS code and move this up and stuff like that. So let me switch here this uh, picture. can get real estate pictures at a lot of different places. Maybe for our demo, we'll go to um, imager.com and uh, pull that open. They have some stuff. So you know, I don't know if they're going to have Laguna Beach. If not, we'll just get uh, Laguna Beach. Wow. Okay, so these all look pretty fantastic. Let's see if somebody's swimming. Let's open that in a new window. And maybe that looks pretty cool. And there's another beach and all these people looking at this. So let's just see what we have here. And actually, in all honesty, this picture looks the coolest to me. But what I found is a lot of people don't like dark images on their website. You know, some of these look pretty cool, but they're also kind of dark. And sometimes that doesn't work very well on a, on a real estate website. So... Um, It's kind of cool. That's actually a video. So I guess I should have sorted that out. That's a video. And maybe I'm just looking at videos here. Okay, so let's uh, 
let's see if there's a share link here. Let's see what this looks like. Come back to our close that. And kind of suspicious of that because that looks like it's a gallery, so I don't know if that's actually going to work for us. Um, you know, you can kind of filter these these out. And let's see if we maybe we copy this image address. You can put these widgets down in the bottom. Okay, so I think that should work. Let me replace this first one. I'm actually going to put the same picture twice on there just so we can see how it lo loads. I'm going to reload the page. So you can see that that puts the picture of the girl there and then it slides and there she is again. So I could just uh, let's see here. I think we just copied the the link here. That's Got to click on it and then copy image address. Okay, so now we're we're rolling. It needs to have like a dot JPEG or dot PNG or something in there. So that looks that looks like what we're talking about. And on these, I'm just going to take. You can put it on the caption. Um, you know, you can put something like beautiful homes and. Luna Beach, and on this caption we'll put uh, you know, something kooky like that. So um, while we're here, instead of the way the site's set up right now, has renting, buying, and selling. And so maybe what we'll do here is we'll call this um, Oceanfront Homes and Ocean View Homes. And this one will be um, beachfront homes, which actually is probably really similar to the first one, but we're just trying to make it a little faster here. So I can change this to be any text I want it to be. Somehow my fingers make a typo out of that. So let's see what we get here now as we load this in. Okay, so here's Swim the Market with us. And again, I can change that with some CSS and style it so it looks different than that. Um, there's the next photo. And then there's that one. These can all be adjusted. So you can put bigger or smaller, you know, here's oceanfront homes, ocean view homes, beachfront homes. And uh, these can actually be um, so I can put in something like I'm going to send it over to the map search 
if they click on one of these. So let's grab our, our map search link, which is a, for another site. But just as an example, I can put here anywhere that has um, this little two dashes in the side, you can put HTML code. So if I do something like that, and then I can actually do the same thing over here. Make that a little bit bigger. Close that. So now when we open that up, um, if somebody clicks on that or this, then it takes them over to that map search page. So if that's what I wanted to do, I could do that. Um, here you can put in a widget for featured listings. So if, for example, I had um, a widget from IDX Broker that I wanted to put in here from this client, I could pop it in right here and it'll show that as my featured listings. So we have um, that sign up container, which is, why do I keep doing that? You can just keep changing all of this uh, information and then you get your sign up widget from your IDX broker account. So if we go here to middleware, and I come here to design, website, widgets, And I want to get the lead sign up. This is the preview of that widget. Looks something like this. Here's the widget code. So I'll just grab that. And again, I can put it in here. There's that widget. And I can put any background image I want in there. I, I'll keep the one that it currently has. Um, let me get this featured listings one and we'll grab a, a widget code here. Again, let's pull up one of these other widgets and see what it shows. So this shows uh, three nice properties. So I'll put that as the featured listings. And I don't believe this client's even in uh, Laguna Beach, but we'll still, just for our demo, put it here. So we're going to need to put in a little bit of CSS code to straighten that up. And it looks like we're going to need some code here to make those featured listings straighten up. So that, those are things that you could just hit us up and our developers will do that for you at no charge. Um, and then down here, we can add in these other values in the lifestyles containers. Actually, it looks like there may be an issue with this uh, site where the, the some of the CSS isn't loading correctly. We have the word apartments with two Ps and um, these, these images here. So basically, you just kind of move down through the page and uh, and again, you just keep popping in information from your site. I'm throwing in a new uh, widget here. You can put in the cities where it says, you know, explore cities. Like here it says um, lifestyles. You don't have to put lifestyles. You can put school districts. So you could put here, you know, Laguna Beach.
school districts. And then we can, instead of calling this apartment, we can call this uh, Washington High. And this one can be Lincoln High. And this one can be Jefferson High. And then this uh, looks like we have six of these. So we'll put, um, let's see, we're going to put here you know, Madison High. And we'll put here uh, Monroe High. And then we'll get somebody a little more recent here, Obama High. I don't know if I've seen an Obama High School yet, but anyway, you can do something like that for cities. Again, if you have a different breakout, if you say we do um, investment land, commercial investment, and uh, multifamily investment, and single family residence investment properties, whatever you, however you break your things out, these don't have to be cities. We call them cities, just so you know where they are on the map or on the page. You have the agent information. Again, actually where it says agents, you can put in your agents if you want. You can zap that whole section if you don't want to use it. Or the truth is you could put in here um, subdivisions. So this could be, um, you know, Shadow Bluff. And this could be a different subdivision. We'll call it Pinnacle Beach. And you can just change this information <clears throat> in here so it matches whatever kind of information you want to put in here. Down in the footer logo, uh, we have some information here. We recommend that you get an account at cloudinary.com. And I'll just show you real quickly. That's uh, right here. They give you a free account. Get a free account with Cloudinary. This is a great place for you to load up images that are yours and with your free account that you're gonna have more than enough space to to load up images and they also will do some speed optimizations for you so we we like cloudinary a lot um, right now you can put in custom css on your website here you can put in even custom javascript here and right now between now and the end of the year we're doing a big promo on these pure idx sites where you can get them set up for free and you can shoot us an email contact us on our chat give us a phone call and we'll give you some more information about these but they're super easy to set up you can see you just kind of whip through it let's submit these changes that we we did and let's see what happens to our to our uh to our website you can see here the high schools came in here it looks like uh, you know these images need to be tweaked right here where I put shadow bluff instead of having a picture of that guy we could put a picture of the subdivision and put some information there and uh, basically it just builds the whole website out for you so those are that's the pure IDX2 design and uh, what that looks like when it's built out is, uh, let me just show you real quick. The, the demo again. Let me scroll down here real quick. So this is on, so this is, uh, an example of it, Crane Island. So you get something like this and all you do is just change those different spots and it'll build your site to look just like this. And you can modify it however you want. So that's Pure IDX 2 design. I actually like how it keeps the search tool here at the top of the page as you move around.